Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Lord, I believe we are believers. A believer is one who believes in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I receive every word that you have spoken over my life and I receive the manifestation. Please lift your voice and pray. I not only receive the word, I receive the manifestation. Blessed is she that believes, for unto her there shall be a performance. Unto her there shall be Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Good evening. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord for giving us this opportunity again. Oh, by the way, um, I was told last week was powerful in here. I was told fire was burning all over this place. Let's honor the men of God, Ejimi, Pastor Alpha, Benga, and all the people who made that possible. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Just a few, just a few things to note, and then we'll go to the word. Just a few things to note. Um, please pay attention, especially as regards the forthcoming prayer and fasting um, <laughs> praise the Lord uh, we are not religious people and we are not people who just do things out of the ritual of it I truly believe with all my heart that these seven days will truly be extraordinary moments in our lives praise the Lord so prepare your heart for it um we decided to add a few things to the seven days prayer and fasting and um we'll be having other specialized sessions like four or five of them we decided to have um a special session for our children i think it's it's time we begin to bring them into so we're going to have a session for our children we're going to have a session um, for worshipers and music minister there will be a specialized session there will be a special healing session also with dedicated day to really really take our time and pray for the sick and then we're going to have a business session too yes we'll have one day all of this will be morning sessions um, is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness and so we want to really trust God to equip ourselves um, basically these are the sessions if I omitted any I'm sure that they'll communicate it but just for you to prepare your heart all the all the specialized sessions will be in the morning so that we'll have some time 
to really, really um, deal with the matters um, that we need to deal with in the night. It's seven days, but our fast starts from Sunday. This is just to honor the wedding that will be happening on um, Saturday. Two of our dear people will be wedding on Saturday. And uh, because many of us are involved in, in what they are doing, the meeting will start on Saturday, but the fasting proper will start on Sunday. I hope you, I hope you understand. Praise the Lord. So that it will not be honorable to all come and then we are unable to, to eat and celebrate with our dear people. Praise the Lord. Um, the second announcement, we have so many guests coming. Please, um, especially for those listening online, we, we believe in honor. And please, if there are any, maybe men of God or any public personalities you think are worthy of honor. Now, let me put a disclaimer very quickly so that you don't embarrass yourself um, those who are deserving of honor if your honor starts from your coming to koinonia you are not yet there are we together now that means when we say those who are deserving of honor there are people by god's grace whether in the music ministry in mainstream ministry in business or so on and so forth who um we just feel that is good we are aware you can communicate through um our PR department, our helpline, so that we are where you are coming. And then um, because of the crowds, we are still working on ways to be able to manage the size of the people that will be coming um, so that we don't leave um, a senior man of God maybe just standing lost somewhere in the crowd just to give honor. Um, but then it is still all right if you feel you just want to sneak in and sit down. Sometimes these rituals can interrupt your receiving there are people who receive better when they are lost in the crowd sometimes this unnecessary honor can distract you and then you don't really receive anything but please let us know and if you are aware of any one of such people coming you can meet the protocol department or our public relations department and let us know praise the lord and then for um, Mukhtar's wedding, sorry I'm bringing it here we had um, suggested shortly in venues but everything will be happening in Blue Roof just for you to be aware everything, the service, reception everything will be there once, I will just do it once and for all praise the Lord are we ready for tonight? please pray, open my eyes and grant me understanding open my eyes grant me understanding Let me see, let me know, let me understand. I'm Are you praying? Father, open my eyes. I have come to see, I have come to understand. Hallelujah. Growth and, um, and development, whether it is spiritual, whether it is physical, any process that has to do with the transition of a man from one realm to another never occurs by default. Please take notes. This, this is just to establish something before we get to the word. That means that it is not possible. Physics tells us that our work on earth tells us that, that the only thing that grows automatically is your age. Every other thing must be engaged to grow. You don't have to do anything to add to your age. Once you are alive and the time comes, the year recycles, you are plus one. Ready or not? 
but every other thing your spiritual life please listen your relevance your understanding your transformation every other dimension of your life must be engaged for growth to be possible that means that if this gentleman becomes a higher and a better version of himself you cannot say it happened by mistake are we together if saul becomes paul and is mightily used by god it's not just that god chose him uh -uh. that growth and that transition happened because he engaged certain truths i will continue to drum it in this house why because you see the principles that make for growth for impact and for success are finite please understand this the principles that make for growth for impact and for success are finite they are principles you can piece together and say these are the keys that make for it it is our pursuit of god and our pursuit of knowing him that is infinite are you getting what i'm saying now we will never exhaust the knowledge of god but as far as the principles that make for kingdom relevance that make for our usefulness the principles are finite this should be good news for someone because it then means that i can allocate time and know these things so that the only thing that remains in my life is seeking and knowing god no longer learning principles a time should come in your life where your entire time is spent in fellowship and growth with god not trying to be sure whether this is the key to this and that no and this is what by the grace of god god is helping us achieve in this place if you believe that the principles of the kingdom are haphazard or they are so infinite are we together the principles that make for our relevance as far as this dispensation is concerned please listen to me they are captured in this truth and they are finite they are finite that means that you can collect them that body of information and study them and know that as far as these dimensions are concerned god has helped you it is not when you will or if you will arrive is when you will arrive at that point your life is reduced to worship and praise your learning is god your subject is god not prosperity are we together not how to parent children not how to succeed not how to engage restoration not how to speak peace it's a cause if your entire life is spent trying to learn these things because god as a subject is worth your lifetime all of these auxiliary things about god that we study is to be able to give us the convenience to clear these distractions so that we can now focus ourselves on him and his glory are you getting what i'm saying now yes. you will never be able to centralize your pursuit on god and him alone when there are all kinds of distractions in your life children here different things happening in your life and you don't know what spiritual law to engage it will distract you all these things are the things around god they are not god they are his ways my phone is not me it's around me you can learn how to use my phone it doesn't mean you know me are we together now so we must trust god for grace accelerated grace to be able to capture these things establish their results in our lives and then you are reduced to a point where as far as your personal work is concerned it is god only god ever 
Are we together? It was a preacher that taught us. He says, of reading many books, there is no end. And he says, much learning is a weariness to the flesh. Then he says, this is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commands. He said, this is the whole duty of man. Let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. Not that he bought a car, not that he bought a house. Are we together? Not that he raised children well. All of these things are important. But let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, you must trust God for grace and quick understanding. Isaiah 11 and verse 2. Quick understanding. You can understand late. It's still not a blessing. Understanding will bless you if it is quick. Because everything in life is time tagged. You don't have all the time. Spending all my life learning about money, learning about greatness, learning about leadership, as important as those things are, you will find out that nothing will be left to really seek God. If our generation does not learn this, we will be a generation full of principles and no encounter. We will have principles of A, B, and I teach you principles all the time. But the principles are supposed to help you stabilize. So that you reduce yourself back to the point where you are no longer bothered about what to eat, what to wear, how to be great. The principles are finite. Now you can focus on him. He becomes your object. He becomes your pursuit. He becomes your everything. This is the place of power. This is the place of true relevance. Because let me tell you this. Everything in your life minus the knowledge of God will still leave that vacuum. You know, many people think that the moment you make a lot of money or you become very famous or you become all of these things minus God, you will still be able to go around because we say those in the world, there are people who don't love God and yet they are rich. You need to hear their honest confession to see how irritating life can be without God. God designed man to be frustrated without him. It's his design. It's part of his intelligence. He designed it to be impossible to be fully fulfilled if he's not in that factor, that equation. So when someone tells you, I'm doing well without God, that person is a liar. I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time. Riches can deceive. They are important. You see, how many of you have seen little children and you buy a bicycle for your child? Your child will enjoy that bicycle. Even the injury will not matter. But two weeks later, you'll see that bicycle in the rain. He has exhausted it and it's all right. That's how life is without God. You can get a certificate and be happy. And after five years, the same thing you laughed at, you now hate it. Because it seemed not to give you what you thought it would produce. Then you turn your pursuit to something else, finance. And then you press through and make all the money and ignore God. And then for a while you are happy because you are buying properties. And you can now be at the priority level of living. And then very soon you will find out that things cannot be God. Hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Please listen. Then you can choose to replace things with people. Like a husband. Like a wife. Like children. Like physical earthly relationships. And they will bless you for a long time. Except for the fact that the jealousy of God. Preserved a dimension only his size can feel. Hmm. No matter what else in your life you bring. I tell you this. It will take time. But you will know that life without God is not living. You're all I want. You're all I ever need. You're all.
listen let me tell you how god trains us when you start your spiritual journey it is god then when you know a bit about him he will help you to know his ways and the end of your life should be like the beginning back to god so it is god but then he gives you the things that pertain to life him godliness but he knows that somewhere along the line your children need to go to school you need to eat so he will delve from him he's still there but the focus for many years will be his ways and many times we forget we forget that his ways is not the ultimate you search the scriptures for in them you think you will find life and you will not come to me say the scriptures testify a way leads to somewhere so when all is said and done with the cars and the fame and the accolades and everything god says i kept my part five years of your life i didn't bother you so much again here and there you had encounters but now that you know my ways now that you are not thinking about money again now that you know what it takes to raise your children can i have my time back and he said lord i became famous on my way and i found out that my fame is better than this 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 me and you i i started in innocence but as i continued i found out that there was fame on the way and now i'm no longer interested in you that's what happens to a lot of people even learning the ways of god as the ultimate pursuit is still not the perfect strategy the ways of god are important but at the back of your heart please hear me the end of your spiritual journey must still be the way you started in the beginning god in the end god that's what it means to be alpha omega so right now we are in a season where you no longer may be having the dreams you used to have again remember those times it was not about principle or anything you were not seeing any attack it was just all of those encounters and it seems to be suspended for a while to allow you to be relevant within the context of your it's not backsliding he's showing you his ways sometimes some of you will still go back and say lord i want it before he says i know i'm waiting for you at the other side so that means if you focus on knowing his ways is proof that you really want to meet him fast so that you will finish with these matters and it will give you room to say lord i'm done i didn't know that i can be established fast by the grace of god i do not have to cry for what to eat again i'm not coming to you complaining about an attack i've conquered that i found the keys that give me victory lord i am here with you for fellowship what do you want son you you give me you everything else can wait give me you i hope i'm not too late lord give me you lord give me you lord give me you lord, It is not only being an unbeliever that can keep you away from God. Lack of quick understanding can keep you away from God. You will be close to him, but not with him. You are around him learning everything. Imagine that I come to your house and all I keep doing is going to your kitchen. I can eat your yam. It's your yam, but it's not you. I can go and use your restroom. I can even drive your car. I will leave your house saying I met you is a lie. I didn't meet you. I met the things around you. Those things are called conveniences. When you go to see a guest, you don't go there to eat. But then in seeing that guest, sometimes before he arrives, they will serve you. Does it happen to you? They will say, okay, this, what would you like? Sometimes they will even call you to a table. If you get carried away by the buffet and you sit there and forget that there is a meeting, you spent three hours there. It was just supposed to solve your problem. So that when you spend that time seeing him, hunger will not distract your concentration. God knows that it's better to serve him in your house than a rented apartment. 
so in as much as you start there you say son let me show you my ways not to compete you with bill gates it is a foolish agenda it's a purposeless kingdomless agenda there is no glory to god competing with bill gates or well, that's not your assignment your assignment is to rise to a point where the ways of god are mastered so that you reduce sky look my brothers and my sisters listen to what i'm teaching you the ways of god are powerful but if you stay there you will not know god and at the end of it you will live your life in a void that will frustrate you i asked for children you gave me children i asked for a job you gave me a job listen i asked for promotion you gave me promotion i asked to be a celebrity and you took me to the nations i asked for money you gave me money i asked for dollars you gave me dollars i asked for revelation you gave me revelation listen i asked for word of knowledge you gave me i asked for miracle power you gave me and then after all of that god steps back different from everything you've had and say i'm still here and many times we say lord do i really need you again do i need you whatever i cannot do i can outsource i have the influence hmm. and god stands back and says was this all i meant to you yes it is true that i am the way but i'm not only the way the way is how you start it should lead you to life it's a person the passion with which many people and the slow rate of spiritual transformation is becoming dangerous it's one thing to be in ignorance but it's another thing to transit slowly time is running and time is fixed the next 20 years of your life if you are still learning what you are learning now is no longer a blessing imagine a man of 45 years in primary school say i can make it there's, yes you can make it there's nobody that says you cannot make it but you will be sleeping while they are teaching because your body does not expect you to be at that level while they are teaching the children spell uh, this and that and that you will be a nuisance to the people and it will not be your fault let me tell you this the prayer for speed is a real prayer most believers pray for speed because they have a passion to make a statement either to loved ones let people in my family know i am this as good as that is it's not a very valid reason speed that god can establish a man early 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 what is the purpose of delay something an effect on your time not you your time i hope you realize that all satan is really interested in is your time hmm. So he uses you to do something to your time. Are we together? The ways of God are very important, but the ways of God is not God. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. I am Alpha Omega. Why am I sharing this? Because we are in the face of our lives now when we should focus on learning the ways of God first. Please hear what I'm saying. There are many believers who think that every time we teach on the principles of the kingdom, it should be encounters all the way. No, you'll be frustrated. The matters that pertain unto life will hit you and will derail you. No matter who you are, it's not something you can do anything against. You may be wicked to yourself, but when you watch your children ask you questions you cannot answer, it will dry down your life. You see a lot of people will tell you, in 1995, I was the prayer secretary of so, so so fellowship. And right now, the person is not even born again. He said, God was not there for me. 
I served God, but now when it had to do with God blessing my own family, he left me. And God said, no, you didn't understand the sequence. It starts with me. Then at a point, I step back to let you learn my ways so that you can obtain the things that need to give you the freedom and the liberty to return back to me. Occasionally, these things can distract you. That's why retreats are powerful. Because they take you back. And that presence and that atmosphere, once again, God says, I'm still here. Woe betides a man who spends his whole life chasing things, things, things. To look for a car for a lifetime is not an achievement. That at the end of your life, if I say, what did you get? I have five estates, 21 degrees, 30 children, eight wives, chieftaincy titles, traveled around the nation, and God is just waiting for his name. And he's not in the equation of your destiny. That's what many of our loved ones did. They started with God. But when God was calling them to learn his ways, they thought it was the devil. And they casted God away and said, Lord, I will keep learning your ways. And hunger forced them to leave God. To get back to learn his ways. And the spirit of revelation was not there. And so their pace is slow. And right now they've been 40 years trying to learn how to be rich. 40 years trying to learn how to be leaders. 40 years trying to learn how to be great. So when you say, let's, let's spend time worshiping God. Let's spend six hours praying. The person looks at you and says, are you stupid? Six hours praying. What am I telling God? All that I've been telling him, is he not listening to? It doesn't make sense to invest that kind of time when you are hungry. When you are starting out, God will allow it for a reason. You notice how great ministries start. They usually start with these moments of encounter. That's how we started. You understand? God will not tell you anything about money, marriage, children, prosperity, increase, influence, ministry, ethics, greatness. Leave all of that. It's just him. People coming back with dreams, visions of heaven, encounter, and so on and so forth. But where many people miss it is they do not sustain the intelligence to observe the transitions. Listen, prayer groups, listen, ministries, listen. This is where we miss it. Because many times we think just because God is the object of the pursuit. When he now tells you, start learning my ways. Sometimes you can say, Lord, I don't need it. Because of the excellency of his presence and he understands. That's why how you are mentored matters. There is a pattern of growth. This is what is happening to some of us right now. You got born again since 95 and the only thing in your life now is that you know God. Right now, you are not even sure you know God again. Why? Because you suddenly discovered that while you were serving God, when you started, somebody was giving you a harvest, whether you sowed a seed or not. And now you've been left alone. The reality of being the breadwinner of your family will not even allow you to spend time with God. And Satan likes it so. That's why you hear people say, I used to be on fire before I got married. And this foolish husband or this stupid wife that I've married is the reason why I no longer can love God. No. You used to spend time worshipping God, but now you have to dedicate 10 years of your life giving birth to children. 10 years is not 2 days. 10 years taking care of the children. You just sense that presence you used to send when you were in secondary school. And here's your baby crying too with the presence. And God says, attend to the baby. Oh Lord, but that sweet face. Mm -mm. Attend to the baby. If you attend fast, you will have time with me. But if you, if you pay the price and leave that baby, he will force you to leave me tomorrow. Listen to me. It is not error when God switches you to learn his ways. Hear me. Hear me, believers. It is not error when God just, he does not take himself out of your life, but he focuses you on his ways to say, learn this. You need it. You need it for your daily bread. 
you will encounter things that will bring delay in your life so my son buy a book on restoration add it to your spiritual archives you will need it tomorrow you will be attacked by the devil you must learn the principles of warfare and for four months all you who all is just worship and god says you will not even get a new song as a worshiper worshiper four months no new song and god is teaching you on warfare and the devil can say i hope you are not backsliding god says no the songs will come when you give me time but for now is it not with money you will buy the keyboard learn what will help you set up the studio and you can lie down there alone without a landlord knocking your door so satan comes as an angel of light and says have you stopped seeking god to seek things and that guilt will turn you back and time is going i am telling you that voice that looks spiritual is satan masquerading as an angel of light using the regalia of religion to stop you from learning the ways of god many of us would have been better spiritually now but because sincerely so you wanted to seek god but you just i i this business seminar and business seminar prayer retreat choose one is a prayer retreat the holy spirit said go there for the business but lord i'm used to spending time at the back of my my house is this not backsliding and he says no i'm the one guiding you and sometimes religion will draw you away and then when those who were in that business session are now rolling on the floor you will be around trying to look for who to help you and your wife looks at you and says what kind of god did you serve that's the question many people are asking in our families you were a reverend for 30 years how did god work with you that your life is such a failure and the result is to blame god this is what we say lord you failed me lord you failed me i spent 20 years giving my life for you 20 years so you begin to love god and worship god every day and then sooner or later all those visions of the presence begin to diminish and then god begins to say sweetheart it's time for you to start learning how to be a wife and a mother lord let, let carnal things not distract me i need your presence god says yes he's a gentle spirit but don't forget that you are going to get married learn the principles and you say no 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 i don't need to your presence will give me everything you say yes it's my presence that is now recommending my ways to learn and that person will be a worshiper and a prayer warrior for many years until marriage comes then she gets married and the man returns by six o'clock sweetheart where are you and there's a song playing in the other room and then the man says what are you doing say his presence that's that's all that's all i desire so why did you marry me listen carefully and then you now say this man is a devil he's out to destroy my life and satan says thank you for giving me a jackpot in this family he will wreck that family to pieces the ways of god are his wisdom to guide you so that you can settle the things that pertain unto life and then you can focus on him i thank god for giving me this understanding i am obsessed with balance i've taught you again and again imbalance is as destructive as error and ignorance this ministry by the grace of god we are where we are by the privilege of god's grace because of the understanding to navigate these seasons i will never forget uh, a jimician he will testify you know because of the way god started those days with me and you know you know all those that were there a time came when god started teaching me these things even me myself i felt guilty because all i wanted was his presence I would go in the night browsing Jewish worship and the mystery of God's presence. Enter in a cafe with my fluffy disc. If I see anything that looks like Shekinah on an ark, I'm downloading it. I don't even want to know whether he's talking about, just download it. And then a time came when in a very strange way, the passion began to diminish. 
I fasted my life and I said, Lord, what am I doing wrong that I'm not getting this? And the Spirit of God told me, it's now time to learn the ways of God. I remember when I started proposing some of these things. Around those times, you know, I remember I suffered my own share of persecution. A lot of people just began to propose, this guy has backslidden. He didn't start like this. I'm no well, they didn't call me apostle then. I mean, somebody who will pray for hours now is sitting down. You are talking about finances. You are talking about leadership. These things are a sign of backsliding because if you are really, you should be fresh. I agree. And time. There are many people who were born again before that are not even born again. again. Hunger will always take Israel to Egypt. It's not the enemies that fight them. Hunger. Listen very carefully. If I ask all of you right now, and I say those who are really trusting God for a job, if you know that joblessness is pinching you and paining you and you are angry about what is doing to your spiritual life if i ask you to stand up you'll be you'll see those who they will stand up with the attitude you will know they are really angry say lord I've, I've, I've been serving you what is all this one that means something there is affecting your concentration and i have a responsibility to show you the ways of god and to show you fast so that by the grace of god we can spend time and spend our lives mentoring a generation on how to live listen to me there are many things i've said that people have thought was pride some of them are now manifesting today micah chapter 4 is the prophecy for our generation and that's one of the things that God is doing with this ministry. Micah chapter 4 and verse 1. Please give it to us. Thank you. Thank you. Micah chapter 4, please. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established on the top of the mountain and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow unto it. Verse 2. And many nations. How many? nations here don't just talk of countries they talk of systems shall come and say come no invitation no invitation come let us go up to where the mountain of the lord to where the house of the god of jacob that means the place of encounter but we are not going there just for encounter we are going there to carry over a cause we ignored and he will teach us of his ways the God of encounters. We encountered him, but we ignored his ways. But now we see a mountain that has both encounter and his ways. It says, come, he will teach us his ways and we will walk in his paths. For the Lord shall go forth from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. A day will come when the pride of men will fail them. A day will come when the imbalance of men will haunt them a day will come when the inaccurate spiritual pathway that people are taking will show and god is building an ark and telling you a flood is coming when jesus called the disciples look at how he trained them he called the disciples and started by doing a little introduction of himself then he stopped and started teaching them his ways let's go up the mountain and he teaches them the beatitudes the ways of the kingdom he taught them his ways so much that one day he said who am i who do men say that i am they say thank you because this thing has bothered us too we have learned how to be the light and soul but who are you john was so distracted he forgot who he was he didn't know that when you learn his ways you go back to him and he was offended say go and ask him are you the messiah or should we seek another 
Do you not see that at the end of men's life, when Paul finished knowing his ways and did his exploits, he returned back that I may know him. It's a, it's a principle. Paul did everything. I, I've, I've learned them. He was in the wilderness of Arabia for 18 years. Learned the ways of God. When he was ready, he said, let's go. They killed him. He took himself back to life. And got up and finished everything. And at the end, he said, look, this is it. But Lord, that I may know your ways. Moses was at the backside of the mountain. The progression, an encounter. When he encountered him, God said, take your attention from me. Let's go to your rod now. This is about the wonders you and lord i'm looking at you forget about the burning bush you have seen me but let me show you what you will do with this rod and the attention went from the bush to the rod and he trained him on that rod he said now stand up leave me leave the bush and go somewhere you will come back i will meet you again but for now you would have stayed there and circled that bush and said i would die on this bush oh your face oh jesus when Jesus appeared unto Saul of Tarsus, he gave him an encounter. Then he says, go to the house of Judah. Wait there. Someone will come and begin to guide you on the ways of the kingdom. Ananias came and he was filled with the Holy Spirit. His eyes were open and he started learning by revelation. And when he learned at the end of his life that I may know him. John the Beloved started like the apostles knowing him and then later he learned his ways by the time we get to the end of john's life it was full of encounters this is the record that god has given us eternal life and he begins to talk about the divine life then in the isle of patmos i was in the spirit on the lord's day and i saw i have seen him again he told me you will see me again i will come to you again you need to know this about the progression of growth it's a powerful secret it starts with him and then when he starts with you a time comes he says now just knowing my face is not enough to solve the matters that relate to life therefore i will like like a a preliminary course that you will take in another department for a while if you go to that department and remain there you are supposed to take the course get the knowledge and return back i don't want to spend my life even doing ministry because ministry is not an end is a means to an end the end is him listen to me This will help you to know why week after week we continue to dispense the mysteries of the kingdom. And every once in a while you will find out that we will have extreme moments where God's presence will come mightily and just interrupt the service and allow periods of extended worship just to remind us don't be distracted with the ways and then he will step back again. Let the teaching continue those who follow that path are beginning to see certain results in their lives you can have the luxury today to lock yourself and you and your children can serve the lord as for me and my house he says we will serve the lord you will not serve the lord when you are hungry because a borrower is slave to the lender the rich will rule over the poor please listen to me many believers miss it at this point they start well with god and then when the holy spirit begins to tell them now it's time for us to move to begin to understand the ways of god they think sometimes it's an error no why should i buy a book on relationship i need books on his presence why should i buy a book on management why should i buy a book on church growth i need a book on heaven mine is just heaven and god says it's true but just calm down let me show you my ways lord i know you are going to call me and because of the encounter i'm having i will have a global ministry god says potentially that's true but that global ministry works on systems let me teach you something 
please just amplify. Can you change the sound? I just need something I can hear. Listen. Help us, Holy Spirit. When Joseph came, listen, Joseph was the deliverer of Israel. I hope you know how Joseph delivered Israel. He brought systems that preserved that economy. Is that true? Joseph left them with a prophecy. He said, when you are going out of Israel, carry my bones. He was not just saying, carry my dead bones. The systems that kept you here, carry it along. Don't leave it behind. Bone stroke of systems and structure. There was something that happened that gave this thing structure over my leadership. I know God is calling you to go to a land thrown with milk and honey as his own people. But on the way, you will need the knowledge of this. Carry my bones. Carry it. Why, why will you dig a man? It's not because the land was cursed. No. Carry my bones. Carry those structures and those systems. So while you are serving God and you see a book on financial intelligence, don't throw it. Just keep it. A time will come as you are transiting. Let it be part of your library. For now, you are focusing on God. And God, you want to study a book on marriage and God said, no, 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 no. Let's continue the seven days dry fast. It will not always be seven days dry fast. All the movement of heat and cold in your body, it won't happen like that forever. It's a system. You are in a season where he's exposing you to himself. So all your prayer is full of visions. My hands are shaking. My legs have cold and heat. Carry the bones. You will need it. A day will come when the shaking will no longer be there. A day will come when you will not be falling around the way you used to fall before again. A day will come when for a strange reason the strength for 10 hours in prayer will not be there. And you will search your heart and it's not backsliding. Remember that God must be the governor and the coordinator of your growth, not religion. You allow men, they will delve you into error, sincerely so. I watch with shock and I watch with pain in my heart the way so many young people, especially in Africa, continue to corrupt this part of growth. They leave Joseph's bones and when they get to the wilderness, they do not know how to call for bread again. Are we together? This ministry, by the grace of God, runs on systems and structures and it has afforded the opportunity to serve God and serve his purposes I can imagine the level of distraction that would come into my life if all I focused on was just his face and I ignored his ways let me tell you what we would have done by now I would have carried an offering basket and walk around and say I'm hungry I love God have you been blessed by my anointing yes Pastor Alpha, you all of you people here, it's one one million. I'm, I'm, I'm not, it's not as the spirit leads. It's not that I'm bad. This is how we carry over in life. A day will come when your wife will tell you, what kind of a man of God are you? And you will get angry. And all of a sudden, you will start choosing where to go and minister. There's one powerful campus ministry. Campus, how much are the students going to give me? Campus minister to many zealous but broke students. And the Spirit of God is saying, I want to birth a revival on that campus. But you look at your pocket and it says there is another ministration. It's, it's happening in the U.S. And I mean, the, the, the priority service from Nigeria to U.S. alone is enough to bless you. There's no hearing God again. And all of a sudden you leave those poor people and a revival is destroyed because a man did not understand the ways of God. Imagine that I went to honor ministrations today because of the honorarium they give. It's a terrible thing. You don't have, to, you will be angry. What of the ones that cannot give you anything? But you know it was the will of God. After you finish preaching, you see what they give you. I say, how much is this? Say it by yourself. How much? Say, sorry, sir. You see, we were able to raise it. You, you see it? And that bitterness will choke the anointing out of your life. 
I'm not just talking the area of finances alone. Have you not seen preachers that resigned from ministry because they could not be able to raise their children well? Sometimes they ignored the children. When God was saying, train up a child, they were hearing that word. They casted it. They were buying worship tapes. Bob Fitz, Don Moen. It's important. Don't get me wrong. And then while they were in the presence, Satan was with the children. That's what happened to the American society. When God teaches people certain things, he said, teach your children, write it. Your children will ask you questions. Make sure you teach them. Are you getting what I'm saying now? This imbalance has punished a lot of us. I've seen men and women of God who organize meetings. And after the prayer and fast, members don't bring money. They only bring vision. Sir, I saw the meeting. is success. It is done. And he said, do you know how much the body it is? He said, it is done, sir. I'm telling you, I know what I saw. And he will pray with you and go back. And you stand there and say, God, did you call me or not? And God says, remember seven years ago when I told you to settle down and learn my ways. You criticize me, God, and you criticize everything. And because I respect your will, I said, all right, you continue. And now the deficiency of knowing that way of God is telling on you now. So you are anointed, you have encounters. But you cannot build a church that works because you know nothing about leadership. You thought it was unnecessary until while you are preaching, someone is fetching the money of the church. And you think that God is that dull to have allowed it happen. You're not knowing his ways. Then you find out that you never can be able to have up to 100 members. What is wrong? I'm anointed. I just came back from heaven. Members say, so what? You will continue going to heaven and coming back and finding out that there is no growth because something about the system is not there. So when Jesus was born, at age 12, he was in the temple learning, learning. And then at age 30, he comes to be empowered and begins to do ministry. And then he returns back to God from where he came. It is God, his ways, God. Listen, God, his ways. His ways does not mean you will leave him. It doesn't mean you will not pray and you will not fast, no. But God, because you are governed with time, you cannot do everything at the pace you started and have the time to... It takes time to learn. You may pray 10 hours every day. An instruction from God for five months but you do that that way you will not have the time for other things so you will find out that God has a system because even that did not happen by your strength and so God helps you then you begin to learn the Holy Spirit says go to a catering school say God forbid with all these visions I'm seeing until you see that it destroys your life son I need you to learn. I don't want you to, to be an inefficient person. You have to learn the laws of greatness. And you say, Lord, I'm going to the nations. You are not going alone. There are people there and not all of them are born again. So he needs to teach you how to be a sheep among wolves. Lord, I don't care. All I know is that I'm going to be great. Apostle has said it. We will all be great and we all know ourselves. Yes. Yes. It's true. But you must know his ways. So here you are as a born again person and then you have the opportunity to meet a man, a captain of industry and you do not know the principles of relationship. You don't know the principles of friendship. You don't know how to translate the reality of God's life to relate to a context and you stand there. This is an opportunity to not just win a man but win an industry to Christ. You know him but you're not knowing his ways. I love Jesus. Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night and says, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things except God be with him. He would have said, wonderful. Nicodemus said, verily, verily. I mean, Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again. So on and so forth. And when he led that Nicodemus, do you know that Nicodemus was a secret follower of Jesus? 
he learned his ways he shall teach us his ways koinonia hear me you must understand the way god is training you sometimes you see us sit down and for over one or two months all the emphasis is on finance and the rest and sometimes i can almost discern that when these teachings are coming here's the spirit of religion again two months teaching on money is money everything we will need the presence of god i see the joy on some of your faces as soon as i stand and i say the lord is showing me something and someone is shouting you know people that this is koinonia now these are koinonia, not this backsliding version and you keep allowing the spirit of religion you see a student does not define the curriculum no your job is to sit in the class with your heart open let every other name fade away jesus take your place let every other name fade away let every other name fade away jesus take your place let every other name fade away listen you will thank me for what you are learning because you will pastor a people who are balanced after service they have cars to go back home they have houses that they can serve the lord in they have influence enough to bless the lord yet in the midst of it they will roll from pillar to post Do not allow the spirit of religion destroy your peace. Do not allow the spirit of religion to corrupt you. Do not even allow the biases and the imbalances that we carry as men of God to corrupt the accuracy of your pursuit. There is only one architect who designs this pathway, Jesus himself, the author, the finisher. A lot of people see what God is doing in and through my life around the body of Christ. A man of God asked me and said, Apostle, you are a very strange man. There are different churches that you can go to and minister. How do they accept you? Is it that they don't listen to your message in other churches? For instance, maybe a very conservative church. I can finish a conference there right now. And the very next meeting may not be as conservative as. Is it that they don't know? It's not usual for people to receive guests like that. And I tell them there is something he taught me about the body. It's a mystery. Your results show what you know or you don't know. When the body receives you, there is a grace. There is knowledge that has come. This is what I'm teaching you. So you don't become a Christian that will, because of your imbalance, as a man of God, you join the campaign of fighting every other person too. Who are you for? Paul or Apollos? Are you seeing that now? And many of us have been raised that way, sadly. Oh, I am not this man of God. This one in this country is my papa. This one is my this. This one in my... And you join the campaign of fight. Whereas there is something you can know. And the gates of the body as an entity can be open for you. Is God blessing you? This is what you are learning, my brothers and my sisters. You are learning principles. Principles. I bless the Lord for granting me the grace to be the one teaching you this. Because see, if I didn't walk in the anointing, it usually will mean that I'm trivializing those things because they are not captured in my life. That's why it's powerful to be balanced because your teaching will be believed. You have a system of defense for every dimension. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, I'm in Mina. Sunday, I'm in Mina. Monday, I'm in Abuja. Tuesday, I'm in Eboi. Wednesday, I'm in Eboi. I'm coming back on Thursday. Imagine, let's be honest, in the name of honesty, imagine if i had only two clothes and ten thousand naira for chisco transport 
do you I, 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 please I'm not I'm not I'm, is this not I just want you to think sincerely do you know how I will be forced to manipulate those people I will carry the anger of my pain and say something God did not say and preach something God did not preach not because I am bad And then here is the risk all through the road in the night 12 hours you preach back to back 12 hours you are back and then everything starts again it's not a blessing i can tell you it's not a blessing you will never be able to have time to seek the lord imagine that you want to have a bible study and commit yourself and someone is quarreling and they are raising their voices and distracting you you are in a vision you don't even go far you are back because the noise koinonia let me tell you what god is making out of your life you will love what you are becoming you may not love the training now but my brothers and my sisters listen to me god's integrity is back of what is happening to you and a day will come people will look at you and say sir why are you such a man of god what what's responsible for the balance and and the depth of efficiency and you will tell them let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength and let the rich man not glory in his riches but let him that glory at glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me my journey starts with god but i'm careful enough to observe the things that he's teaching me that will be responsible for my results and it will recycle time back to help me serve the lord there are times that i prepare an average of 18 to 20 sermons per week 18 to 20 sermons per week aside from specialized sessions and counseling sessions you ignore this that i'm teaching you a day will come you will not have messages again as a man of god and you say it does not matter and the members will leave and you will call it an attack because you do not know the ways of god they know not neither will they understand psalm 82 and verse 5 they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course he said but have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes I'd like you to pray you won't believe that i've not even started my sermon for this night i, I, I didn't even realize that the time had gone but i like you to passionately cry think of your children while you are crying think of those called to your destiny while you are don't be selfish it's about you but not all about you cry to the lord lord i thank you for revealing a dimension of yourself but now that you are teaching me your ways give me the grace to stay give me the grace to stay lord i thought the time that i've been spending in the last two years studying I i've even been afraid why are the visions not coming like before again now i'm learning that it's a season and a phase it's not necessarily proof of backsliding I have come to a point where you are working on me you are giving me intelligence to be effective please pray I want to inspire a generation to reflect you correctly. 
anda baras kada brahas kade balakotish. Abarada kata pros kade balas. Hebrande gede lakato sada brahas kadabai. My children should not suffer while I seek you. My family should not suffer while I seek your face. It takes time to know you. Oh God, awaken me from slumber so that I can redeem the time because the days are evil. So that I can redeem the time because the days are evil. I don't want to spend my life chasing after mundane things, chasing after money, chasing after power that at the end of your life when you should be seeking him you are now learning his ways they that seek me early early they that seek me early shall find me Hallelujah. The Bible says they are life to those who find them. They are not information to those who find them. They are information to those who hear them. But they are life to those who find them. kingdom of God is like a pearl that is missing and someone lights a candle and begins to sweep that room and when he finds it the kingdom of God is like a treasure that a man finds gold in a property and goes to sell all he has to buy it there are ways to redeem the time listen let me tell you look at me in the 60s and the 70s nobody People took jobs for granted right from 500 level or 400 level. You could come with jobs. Nobody knew that today will be an information age, a digital age that will replace jobs. So people had the luxury to not focus on some things. But times have changed. And the sons of Issachar, there is a generation of Issachar that had the understandings. The, the fact that God is not doing a thing the way he did 30 years ago does not mean he's, the one, he's not the one doing it. Listen, let me teach you this. For every dispensation, there is a strategy. When Samson, listen, when Samson saw the Philistines, the spirit of the Lord came upon him and he took the jawbone of an ass a donkey and he killed all of them when he killed the philistines he looked at the bone and threw it why do you throw what works i just used a strategy and defeated an army and yet i'm leaving it to wait for another one many of us will hold that bone and idolize it and even when the bone has no life again you will keep moving with it one time he will tell you let the people go through the water other times he will tell you stand still there is always a strategy for every generation don't borrow a strategy that is not applicable joshua had to wait what is the strategy to bring down jericho and he said this one is not about warfare let the priests lead the way this is the strategy there are times that the men of war would lead the way there were times it was not just the priest the worshipers what is the strategy for this generation do you know or do you believe is the same strategy for everyone is a joke god who in sundry times and diverse manners spake to us through the fathers hath in these last days in these last days spoken to us through his son whom he has appointed to be heir over all things so there was a time 
in sundry times and diverse manners he used a strategy but in these last days there is a strategy just because a strategy worked does not mean God is interested in using it again give us this day not give us once and forever give us this day for every day there will be a strategy oh elijah for a while it will be at brook cherif that's the strategy for your survival position yourself at brook cherif and a raven will come but the, the the brook is dried up elijah hear the word for another strategy otherwise you would die at brook cherif whereas god has relocated your blessing to another strategy you held the jawbone of an ass it killed in 1960 it killed in 1970 but the arsenals of hell changed their strategy and we refused to go back because we learned the principles very slowly and we ignored the presence many people are applying principles that do not have a corresponding power in the realm of the spirit that is why the results do not show I remember the time and I say this respectfully so when God told me I want to open your eyes to see the key to church growth I had not seen it I am look let me tell you something I have studied the largest churches in every continent with all humility the day I saw it I said this is it not the church growth of the fathers the church growth of the future the way they built the tabernacle in the wilderness was not the way they built Solomon's temple. The strategies are different. The goal is that he inhabits them, but the patterns are different. Listen to me. If you get what I'm teaching you, you will be blessed. There are people, generations past, could ignore certain things. But there are generations that if you ignore certain things, in the 60s and 70s, you could see a, a trader keep banana or something and not even be there. You will carry the banana, put it in the leather and drop the money there. But he says, the times, he says, the days are evil. Are we together now? Yes. You couldn't have somebody just come and cheat you and betray you and stab you for nothing because the pressure to make for that is not there but the hardship of men has helped them to invent wickedness didn't the bible tell you that the end times will be like the days of noah what characterized the days of noah wickedness multiplied and so you need the strategy you carry the naivety of decades past and you find out that you are on you are unfruitful to the church listen let me tell you this I will use names respectfully and honorably. Papa Ia Deboye represents the face of a generation. Are we together now? He represents God and a dimension of his workings to a generation. If I go to Papa Ia Deboye's generation, no matter, I've, I've ministered many, many times in those circles, and no matter how powerful my ministration is, the people love me, but they may not listen to my messages because david served his generation are we together even if i cut promises head and carry it and put it back are we together now it will never stop anybody from crowding and camping around redemption camp i went for a conference recently and we had to route through another way because two major ministries were having a regular meeting and the entire road was blocked it was a strategy for that generation everyone that caught the strategy the results have to show there are others who passed and didn't get it it's very clear they didn't get it so we must stand like habakkuk i will stand upon my watch and i will set myself upon the tower god what are you saying for my generation what is the strategy for survival what is the strategy for survival there were no facebook's to criticize a man of God those days. But now, oh God, that is easy for darkness to attack a man. What is the strategy? Hmm. Are we together now? Yes. P 
people were a lot more loyal in the times of our parents than our time they can love a man no matter what is right or wrong but our generation is a vocal generation a lawyer can stand up and say you are stupid for thinking we are idiots he will listen to you and after service he will analyze your message and sue you to court because you abuse my privacy there were certain levels of um, being raw and outspoken that our fathers could afford in their generation you try it now you will die because you are speaking to nations they had the luxury to say certain things in certain ways you are not bending the truth you are receiving a strategy because you are speaking to people who are global in context and you must be able to translate divine realities to make meaning to a generation you can't talk to everybody as if you are talking to those who are in your locality when Jesus came and found an agrarian society, he converted the realities of the kingdom into agricultural terms to relate to the then civilization and they understood. Listen to me. Ministry is not just about the anointing. There is a skill. There is a science. There is a psychology for effective ministry. It's much more than just having the ability to do an exegesis of scripture. It's a combination of many factors playing behind the scene. People don't just love you because you are telling the truth. Mm -mm. It is not just truth itself that saves. It is how it is presented. You can serve me water. Please help me with this. There are two ways to serve me water. Here is one way. Apostle, please take water and drink. You serve me water. The water is not wrong. But I will hate you because of your service. You did not serve it to present honor. You can do this to a footballer. In the football field. And he will not be angry. It's the ethic of it. In fact, the skill of receiving it will be an accolade. But now when you come to me. And you carry this and throw it. The same thing you did in the field that they clap for you. You do it here, they will curse you. You must understand the intelligence that comes with territory and systems. Oh dear, this is not a pastor's conference. Please sit down. In the name of Jesus, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. The spirit of this prayer and fasting is upon me. Ah. Second Peter chapter 1. Jesus. You know, sometimes when I come looking, which one do I omit? And which one just boils in my spirit? And I'm looking, which one do I omit? And which one do I say? Because I truly, truly want you to get it. Many of you will have churches in the future. You will see how exceptional your churches will be. Yes. 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 The grace that is upon you is, is too much for a member. No, God is training you. I mean, no, 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 no. This is not the grace that just keeps you. You are representing a nation and a territory. So you are listening for the sake of nations that might not be hearing now. Second Peter 1, help us Holy Spirit. Verse 2. Let me just tie up something and we'll pray this night. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ our Lord. Verse 3. Read with me. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things. Stop. Read it again and stop at things. Ready? One, two, read. One more time. So, let's reverse it. All things are given unto us according or by his divine power. Listen carefully. All things are delivered to the saints. How? Faith is only a connector to his divine power. 
the system that makes for reception in the kingdom is the agency of his divine power as powerful as faith is faith is like a funnel are we together the funnel connects the container and the one you want to put under so that's what faith does faith in itself does not produce miracles does not produce breakthrough are we together faith you know is just your conviction and the action you take to validate that conviction are we still together so the bible says according as his divine power let's work this a little tonight that means there are results if i see arrive your life the agency that made it so regardless of what principle you obeyed the principle only made way for his divine power if his divine power cannot be released there is no performance i don't know if you get what i'm saying yes let me give you an illustration look up please everyone what is inside this bottle water i i hope you know that there are different ways to package water are we together now let me interpret this every time you are thirsty what quenches the thirst is water how it comes may be different are we together now yes it can be packaged in a bottle it can even be packaged in in you know all kinds of ways but if at all your thirst is quenched the factor that quenched it is water the bottle that brought it and the system of packaging is not the issue is that the central factor that quenches test is what water so the bible says thank you according as his divine power listen carefully his divine power does not give some things it gives what that means you need to study what the bible tells you gives all things according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertains unto life and godliness that means if i am not obtaining i am not engaging something that makes available his divine power listen 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 if i prosper his divine power has given me prosperity there's a set of kingdom principles i engage but then when i engage them what will come is still his divine power in physics we teach that energy cannot be created nor destroyed i'm helping you prepare for jam tomorrow for those of you who are writing jam you'll be surprised to find out that that's your first question <laughs> are we together now but that it can be converted from one form to another are we are we together on that that means every time you see any manifestation of energy it is the same energy it is just different forms of it that the same electricity can turn to power this and then can produce sound here that means if i hear sound energy made it so if this fan is turning energy I, I i get i get what i'm saying now and so regardless of what results you are looking for his divine power hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you 